our Webb Space Telescope on the move. New details about the atmospheres of some Earth-sized exoplanets. And another milestone in the transformation of an historic launch pad. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. The Optical Telescope and Integrated Science segment of our James Webb Space Telescope was shipped from our Johnson Space Center in Houston to Northrop Grumman Aerospace Systems in Southern California. The team there will integrate it with the spacecraft element to form the complete observatory. Webb will launch in 2019 to seek out the first luminous objects in the universe as well as signs of habitable planets. Our Hubble Space Telescope has found that at least three of the Earth-sized planets in the habitable zone around the nearby star TRAPPIST-1 do not seem to have puffy hydrogen-rich atmospheres that would make them inhospitable to life. Instead, the results favor the presence of atmospheres more like those of Earth, Venus, and Mars. Hubble's findings are paving the way for further study by the Webb Space Telescope to search for signs of oxygen, water, carbon dioxide, and other elements on the planets more hospitable to life. The SpaceX Falcon Heavies launched from our Kennedy Space Center's historic Launch Complex 39A marked a milestone in the successful transformation of Kennedy to the nation's premier multi-user spaceport. In 2011, Kennedy sought partnerships with the U.S. aerospace industry to use former space shuttle facilities. Today, we partner with more than 90 companies to enable space-related activities along Florida's space coast. NASA researchers are part of an international effort to better predict snow conditions at this year's Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea. They are using satellite data from the Global Precipitation Measurement Mission, ground instruments at various Olympic venues, and weather models to provide Olympic officials with detailed forecasts about every six hours to help them account for approaching weather. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov.